Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to build pretty simple scrapping pipeline in N8 and create some products from Amazon. And the thing is with this pipeline is that we are going to get all of our URLs which we want to scrape from the Google Sheet and uh, shit, Google Sheet, right? Okay. And then once we get our info, we will put the scraped values again in that Google Sheet. Uh, okay, let's start with basic preparation. So we need to create a Google uh, Sheet where we have uh, separate columns for our URL that we are going to scrape and columns uh, for the values we need to fill in this table. So in my case, I want to scrape names, I want to scrape prices, and uh, for the product to scrape, I've chosen uh, like different sunglasses uh, from Amazon. So, and you can pick whatever you want. You can pick any other product in Amazon or you can pick any other website. Uh, okay, so we have table prepared and the next step will be to um, make the NA set up. So let's create our workflow. First of all, uh, let's make this workflow triggered manually. Cool. Okay, as the next step, we need to make sure that we get URLs for the scrapping. So let's find Google Sheet Node here. Uh, and we are interested in getting rows. I already integrated my account with NIH, so so I gotta pick this sheet within document for resource. Then for operation, uh, we choose get rows. Okay, now we need to specify uh, the document. This one sheet. This one, amazing. Once we specify document and shit, uh, we gotta uh, set our filters. We need to set filters in order to make sure that our workflow will be supplied only with rows which values like name and prices are not filled yet. So that we need to filter by name and set value empty. All right, and also we need price and make it empty as well. And the combined filters, we use uh, and parameter because we're interested only in those roles uh, where name and price are empty. And uh, for the next step, we gotta choose option uh, like this one, return only first match rows. And uh, turn it on. Amazing. And to make sure it works, let's execute step. Cool. So as you can see, this uh, uh, Google Sheet node goes to our, uh, our table and pick the first row uh, where, uh, where name and price are empty and return back to us. Okay, we we'll make sure it works, and the next step will be to set up scrapping itself. To this, let's use um, AI Scrapper by Parsera here. And in this particular example, we are interested in uh, such action as extract from URL. Amazing. My uh, Parsera account is integrated with N8, so uh, let's go directly to scrapping settings. Okay, resource extractor. We need the extractor here. In Parsera extractor is, uh, is a tool that helps you to scrape any data from any URL uh, by using AI. I think that's it for now. All right, next step, we gotta make sure that we get our URL. For that, uh, for that we will use uh, the input from previous step. So we have URL here, so we just drag and drop in here. Amazing. Prompt. Uh, uh, for prompt, let's let's give the general context for the extractor what we want it to do. 
So we want to extract name and prices and price of of the product. After we finish our prompt, we need to specify attributes. In our case, we need name because we need name of the sunglasses we scraped and we need price. Amazing. Okay, so we got URL and now we can uh, execute this tab and check it out. Amazing. As you see, uh, it returned to us name and price. Uh, for example, let's play with price a little bit because as you can see here, we have dollar sign uh, before the price number. So let's set the type of this field to be number. And let's execute the step again. Cool. Now I'm totally satisfied with the result and we can proceed to the last step, which is to put information we scraped into our table. Uh, we'll need again Google Sheets node here. And for this particular action, let's choose update row and shed. Amazing. Okay, so we gotta choose the operation, which is update row. Uh, okay, let's choose document again, create again, cool. Uh, then we gotta choose the column to match on, and I will pick URL. Okay, after that, we need to uh, set values to update. So for name and price, we will drag and drop info from the extraction step like price here, name here. Okay, and for URL and row number, let's put information from uh, Google Sheets tab. I don't know why, but without this, it, it didn't work for me. So for me, it only works when I specify those value and drag and drop it here. Uh, so let's, okay, everything is set. So now we can just execute step and make sure it works. Amazing. So, to make sure it works, let's go back to our uh, table and see that, yes, uh, our, our last step in NA8 uh, return values such as name and price here. And now let's, let's fill all the empty cells here. Okay, let's delete this one. Go back to our, our, our workflow. Let's uh, make a cycle here. And uh, let's execute the whole workflow. And done. Cool. Let's check the results. As you can see, everything is here. The Ace Prepper by Sierra extracted all the names, all the prices, and our N8 workflow put all those values back to our table. So, guys, that's how it works. So, yeah, play with it and tell us your thoughts. As a next step, as a next step. Okay. <clears throat>